we're back under the covers. I'm just charging these up. We're going to be working on, I don't know if any, any of you saw in some of the Facebook groups, uh, mainly the Lex Resin group, I posted some time ago my attempt at the Heart of Tafiti um, from Moana. So I'm just charging them up. We're going to be working on the alcohol ink version plus my new um, kind of an up, upgrade version. I'll show you in a sec. Let's flip the camera around. Hopefully I can keep focus. So this was the alcohol ink version. The detailing is not very good. I'll talk you through how I did this, but we're going to give this a try today. But we're also going to be... Let's get the focus if I can. It's a bit of a pain because it's dark. If I just shine the light on it, it might just brighten it up a bit. There we go. So yeah, we're going to be working on these. Let's go! Right, so here we are, back out from the covers. This was the alcohol ink version, and I basically just swirled it around to try and create that that swirl in the, the heart of Tafiti, but you can't really add the extra details like you can in, in this one. So I'll show you how to do this, but I'm going to mix some resin up. What I've done in this one, I've already set this because this is for the newer version. So there's, if you can see, I've left probably about two millimeters or so, but I'll show you what and how I, I'm going to create this one. But on this side, I'm just going to mix some resin up and give you, because basically this one is using UV resin as well as regular resin. This one is just going to be using, showing you how to do it with just regular resin. But hopefully, um, I can convert some of you guys over to using UV resin as well. Because I've been experimenting with it now for um, two or three weeks. And it's amazing. What, what you can add to these and other pieces of work. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I've done a few UV resin pieces. And I basically use a needle tip. And then I'll show you. It's easier to just show you. So bear with me, I'm going to mix some resin up, ready to go. Right, so I've got some small amount of resin mixed up. Again, I'll talk you through the products that I'm using. This is the Let's Resin 1-1. So I'm just going to pour that into this mould here. It's got a few bubbles in it because I've mixed it with a wooden stirrer and it's just a small amount. But we're going to, again, we're going to leave a gap at the back because we're going to need to add some, uh, add a second layer. So whilst that is settling, just for copyright purposes, obviously I'm not selling these. Um, it's just showing you how I created them. The last thing I want is uh, Disney on my back. Right, so we're going to, there's a few bubbles in there, but I'm just going to carry on. So we're going to be using the alcohol ink version, the vibrant ink set, which is this box. And in this bottle, again, I know I say it every tutorial, this is the Let's Resin C, which is the deeper. And that is what pushes the colors down and gives us that bobbly effect in there. So we're going to just start dropping the inks. Obviously it's predominantly green and I'm going to add a little yellow this time just to see what a difference it makes. Just to try and bring some of the colour out and make the green a little bit brighter. Now I've put my white in this needle tip bottle. Much easier to use. I find. Just make sure you give it a good shake. And then we're just going to drop some white over the top. Like so. Now with this one we need to wait one hour again. And then we come back and add this swirl. 
and we have to remember we're working on the back. Now remember this was a prototype, it's yucky, it's messy, it was just an idea, um, but this time I'm hoping to make this a little bit better. So whilst we're waiting for this, I'm going to make a start on the UV version so you can see exactly how I make it. So we have our Let's Resin UV resin. And you can see I've used this pot before, so I'm going to use that one again. And we're just going to pour some of this into the cup. Ready? And now we're going to add some glow powder. And then we're just going to mix it and just see what the the glow is like but be careful not to shine the torch in into it for too long so that's mixed up I'm just gonna get my torch and just see very quickly not don't hold it to it for too long because it will set off the UV resin <coughs> excuse me so we just need to know that it's got a, a fairly good glow to it and now we're gonna put that mixture into this bottle again you can see I've used it and we're just going to pour that into there without making a mess and thanks to all my new subs If you haven't subbed, it's in that bottom right corner. And thanks for all my returning viewers. Right, now comes the fun part. What I have done is I have downloaded an image on my phone and I'll show you how I get this design. You can see it, it's from the film. Now I've got this glass cab here so obviously this is the same size as the mold so what we want to do is kind of get it so it's almost the same size doesn't matter if it's a bit out but I think that's good and then what we're going to do is just slide that off and I've got a coaster mold here okay so now what we're going to do is grab our bottle and our torch and as we're drawing the detailing we're going to be shining the torch onto the mat, onto the coaster. I'll show you what I mean and then I'll pause the video and you'll see how it is completed. So as I'm just pouring down, I'll just wait for this to reach the tip of the needle nose. It's taking a while. It's coming. Right, let me pause it. I'm going to shove a needle down this tip quick. Right, we're now good to go. It was just a little bit blocked from where I used it last time. So we're just going to draw the detail in. Still not coming out properly. And the good thing is with this, if you get it wrong, you can just wipe it off. So I've changed the tip. I'll clean the other one out. Right. Let's see if it works now. I'm just get it to come down. There we go. So we're just going to shine the light so it's curing as we're kind of pouring it. My hand's shaking because the bottle's quite tricky to squeeze the stuff out. So as you see we have the actual swirl there which will fit inside our piece that we need it to fit in over there. So I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll come back to you and you can see the final part. 
So there we have it. It's not exactly the same. It doesn't matter. The detailing is really tricky to get. But if you could, you could ply this needle tip together a little bit more to make a finer, um, finer design. So we're just going to cure that, and that should hopefully flip and fit into this other piece, which we're going to move to now. So I've got my tweezers. I'm not going to take any of it off. I've just realised what I need to do next. I've done this already and I'm still forgetting. So we're just going to pour some UV resin, just a little amount, just to kind of get the pieces to stick to each other. We're just going to manipulate that UV resin round, just using it as like a glue to keep the pieces in one place. You'll see what I mean when it comes to moving it. Just try and get them to touch as much as possible. And this technique with the needle tip, you can kind of trace lots of different images off of different places. Be careful with copyright stuff. You can you can kind of create your own moulds. I've mixed black mica powder in with it, and it works really well. I don't know if anyone has ever done this before, but I'm really enjoying playing with it like this. And we're just gonna set that. before we move over to the hardened resin. I know most people use a proper lamp, but this is what I've got. And it works for small detailing. Let's see if that's set. So what we can do now is just gently make sure that area there is cured like I said you can do this on a bigger scale as well so there we have it it's ready to go so we're going to move over to our cured resin here again this was regular resin and now we're just going to tip or pour just a small amount of UV resin into there and you're going to spread that around. Like so. Doesn't matter if there's a few little bubbles in there. So now we're going to take our design and I think I'm going to turn it, I'm trying to remember which way around it goes now. Where's the other one? Because obviously it's reversed now. So I'm going to go that way. You see how that just fits? And there it goes, it sinks down. Just try and make sure there's any, any bubbles come to the surface. Just pop those. The bubble under there, we'll get that one out. Yeah, just push it around and make sure that everything's out. There's a bit of fluff in there. Let's get that out. And this is another reason why I'm enjoying UV. Although the first part of resin in there I had to wait for. I mean, you could do it with UV, I think, but you might have to do it with a, a better lamp. I haven't got that far with UV yet, just small pieces. So we're just going to cure that in there, ready for the next stage. And 
and then what we do when it comes to stirring this we'll just mimic this swirl on this one and there is one more stage to this afterwards again guys <clears throat> follow me on insta um, you follow me on tiktok if you hit the description you'll find the products i'm using with links plus where you can follow me and thanks for the sponsors as well again i'll put your names in the community tab with a thank you very much appreciated yeah i'm just trying to play with different techniques and different things at the moment i will be doing more of my usual alcohol ink stuff I think that's cured now. I'll just give that a tap. Yeah, that's good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to come back in an hour. I'll give this one a swell. And then we'll finish this one off. And then we'll come back and finish this one off with the last layer. Right, I'll see you soon. Right, we're back. It's been about an hour. We're going to mix up the, and finalise this one now. And we're going to use some UV resin again. I'm just going to pour some in here. Try and judge how much I'm going to need just to top it up. And then I've just got some green mica powder. Just going to tip some in there. Try not to put too much in, otherwise, the UV might not set. And give that a gentle stir. Now we're just going to pour this in over the top. The last one I did, I used alcohol ink, but it's um, it was too translucent, translucent. So we're just going to tip that in and then move that around just to cover the whole piece, like so. Just going to wait for the bubbles to rise. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick blast with my little torch just to get any last bubbles. You can spray alcohol if you like. And then we're just going to get our torch and we're just going to cure that. And the good thing about these moulds as well is that you can shine the torch underneath so it will cure through the back as well, through the, from the underneath as well. So we're just going to cure that and we'll be back. Right, so that one's now cured. We're not going to demold that one until we finish this one though. But no skipping forward. <laughs> right let me get the design back up and then we'll know I, I forgot I needed to do that before I did this but we'll get the design back up on my phone and we'll just draw it in all right so we're going to get our stick and then what I've done on the on my phone is I've just flipped the image upside down or the other way around so that when we demold it it will be the right pattern hopefully so that is the swirl. You can't really put the other details in because we're, we're going to disturb that. Um, so we're just going to let this cure now and then we're going to come back and add the final layer which will be the glow layer. So we'll be back for that soon. Alright so we're back for the final stage for the alcohol ink version and I've just got a small amount of pre-mixed resin. And we're just going to add some glow powder to this now. Give that a good mix. A little bit more. Don't want to add too much because it might affect the curing process. Just use our UV torch just to see it's got a good glow, but we need it to be enough to show through the um, the inks. 
I might add a tiny bit more. I've mixed a little bit too much up, but what I did last time is with any leftovers, I mean, I just made like a little bracelet, glow in the dark bracelet. So we don't like waste. Let's take you back over here. And we're just going to pour that on top. Spread that out a little bit more. A few bubbles in there, I'll just wait for those to rise up and then blast that with a torch quick. But it's not going to matter anyway because it's at the back. <clears throat> yeah, so with this uh, the needle bottle idea, this is something, it's, it's only, it was a first attempt freehand um, at Simba. And this really does glow up really. What I'll probably do is at the end, just to show you as well, with these under the covers, or if I film at night, I'll show you this as well, glowing up in the dark, it's pretty cool. So right, let's just give that a quick blast. And I keep having people saying, oh, you're gonna kill your molds, you're gonna ruin your molds with this. I hold it at a distance, I click it, you know, you can use alcohol. This is my preferred choice. I haven't damaged any molds yet, so you, you just use what you're comfortable with. I'm not telling you you have to use one of these. This is just what I use, and it works really well for me, so each to their own, I suppose. Right, and now we're just gonna leave that to cure, and we'll be back for the exciting part. See you soon. Right, we're back. As you can see, this one's glowing up really nicely because the glow in the dark pigment is on the back. So we're going to demold this one first. Let's turn it off. There you go. So much better than my last one. It's really glowing. All right, let's check out the other one. I have to give this a charge off camera. There you go. See the detailing with the UV resin is so much better. But you can do this too. Again, if you like the tutorial down there, click subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Bye for now. Almost forgot. There you go.